welcome to Tina's talk time. Um, if this um, this filming goes a bit wrong, it's because I've got my iPad balanced on this um, th this uh, what do they call it tripod that I got from Aldi, which is really good for the money, uh, but it keeps sliding down, so you may see me disappear. Right, I just thought I'd come on before I hopefully go on holiday flights permitting you know um and tell you about uh, the clothes that i'm taking on holiday well some of them anyway um but first of all i've got to apologize to the queen i don't know why i say 60 years instead of 70 because it's ridiculous because i'm like nearly 73 and my earliest memory is going to the queen's coronation party um i lived in yorkshire and they had a you know it was like um they had like back streets there, you know, and, and they cordoned it all off and we had a, a lovely coronation party. But I do remember it rained. I remember it rained and they were all going back to this lady's house and my mum wouldn't let me go. So I was a bit peeved. But I mean, I was only, I'd only be like two or three. Well, no, 1952 was it. So I'd be three, you know, so, or nearly three. But that's my earliest memory, funnily enough. And I do remember... All the children in your well in Halifax, where I came from, all got a, a spoon with a, a coronation with a queen's head on. It was lovely. I don't really know what happened to that, but anyway, apologies. It was seventy years, not sixty. I don't know why you say sixty. Sign of sign of my age, I think. Um, maybe I was wishing that it was sixty years since I went to the coronation party. I don't know. Um. And then the, the next thing I'm just going to say before is I'm having a moan about TK Maxx. I'm really annoyed with them. I bought this bag. I don't remember me showing it here for my holidays. Now, I got it in April. I've got the receipt. Oh, I, do you know, I'm wondering if she gave me the receipt back, actually. Just let me look. Oh, yeah, I've got the receipt here. Now, what date did I get it? I know I'm out of the 28 days anyway, towards the end of April, but I'm out of the 28 days. But I bought it for my holidays because I thought it was ideal for my holidays. But it's an absolute nightmare because the material inside, you can't, oh yeah, look, it's doing it there now. It's doing it there on camera. It just gets caught in, in the zip all the time. And so I thought, well, I'm going on holiday in two days. You know, I can't take this. It's totally useless to use you can see the material of the lining is too is too um too big and so it's it's totally useless you can't use that anyway i took it back and i said look I, I ha i've hardly used it i was just training it for my holiday i said i bought it for my holidays i said but i said i mean it was 27.99 which might not be a lot to a lot of people, but I think that's quite a bit for this type of bag. Um, in fact, when I got to check out, I was a bit shocked. It was twenty-seven ninety-nine. I thought it was only twelve ninety-nine. Anyway, uh, what make is it? Caveri Collection. So I took it back. So the girl said to me, and it was it was jammed like that when I took it back. And the girl said to me, "Oh, I'll have to see the manager." And the manager's name's Becky, by the way. Um, she, so she went to see Becky. And Becky said, there's nothing wrong with it. Because the zip goes backwards and forwards all right. Which it, it probably does a lot of the time when there's nothing in. And she wouldn't do anything about it. Well, I think that's really bad customer service. You can see every time I use it, it drives me mad. And the thing was, if it worked perfectly, I'd be really happy. Because I do like, I thought it would be ideal for travelling. Just a waste of money. So TK Maxx, don't buy these again. Because despite what Becky says, it, it it catches. You can see this is what happens every time I use it. It just drives me mad. I was so annoyed with them. You know, I mean, even if she have given me a credit note, but I mean, there's something wrong with it. She, she, anyway, they said there was nothing wrong with it, so... So that's my little moan. But I am annoyed because I went all the way down to TK Maxx, which it's about 20 minutes away um, just to take it back. And I thought, I'll see if there's another one that I can take for my holiday. But anyway, I've got an old bag I can use, you know. But I just wanted one with zips on, you know, that was ideal. Anyway, that's my moan over. So 
apologies to the Queen and TK Maxx and I'll, I usually love stuff from there anyway what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a few of the things that I've got for my holiday oh and I'll tell you I took both those denim well it's a funny story really I took both the denim dresses back and I was going to take the floral dress back as well because I wasn't too sure about it I thought I liked it but somebody said which I was very pleased of her saying that it, she thought it was a bit frumpy because at the back of my mind I kept thinking is it a bit frumpy Anyway, when I got back to next, I've got the two denim dresses. I don't know what I've done with the other one. Whether I've lost it on route or whether I can find it. I'll have to have a good look and see if I can find it. Um, or is it an omen that I should keep the dress if I do find it? I don't know. Anyway, and I thought, I don't really need any more dresses because I tend to wear trousers and, and tops more than anything. Anyway, let's get on with the clothes. You'll note I'm a last minute packer. I mean, I don't really know whether I'll be taking all these clothes, but this is what I've got out to take. Some of them I've got to iron yet. Um, right, this is a dress that I've had for years, but it's nice. It's a long dress and I can pull it on over a swimsuit or I can, um, I'll be able to just wear it for shopping or something. It's got no shoulder straps, you know, so, so that's one dress I'm taking. I'll have to weigh the case. I weighed my hand luggage. I, I have packed my hand luggage and that's eight, eight and a half kilos. God knows what I've got in. I've got this dress as well. Do you remember I got it from Shein? I've lost the belt somewhere. So I'm taking that dress. That's a nice sundress. Do you remember the cover up I got from Shein? I'm taking that. And also, well, I think I'm taking this. It'll depend on, um, that was from Shein as well. It'll depend on the weight of the, the luggage and whether I can shut the case. Then, this is a Wallis top that I've had for a while. Do you remember I ordered a, a, another one like it? Because I do really like it. And I thought with white trousers, that would be a nice evening outfit. And I've had this probably about a year, but not worn it. Um, and I bought, if you remember, I bought that one as well. So I don't know if they're the same, they're very similar. Are they the same? I think they probably are. But I thought both of those would be nice with white trousers. Oh, I'm losing it off the hanger. I definitely will have to do some ironing. Then this was one I was undecided about, the Joni red dress. But I do like this dress, um, so I think I'm going to take it. it might, it's a bit heavy for packing and it might be a bit warm there. But as I said before, in the hotels and the casinos, it's freezing. Um, a pair of old white trousers, I've had these years. And I've also got... Um, a couple more pair of white elasticated waist trousers that I'll wear in the day. And I've also got one pair of black trousers that I'm taking. These are those, do you remember those? I showed you them, those cherry berry trousers. I've had these ages, but I might take those. I'm not too sure. I've got the white ones. I'll have to see if I can fit everything in. Probably not. Then these are the black and white trousers or black and cream I got from Tesco. So I thought I can wear that top with them. And I've got a couple of other black tops that I've packed. Oh, there's the black trousers. They're just an old pair that I've had for years. And then do you remember the green trousers that I bought? Um, I thought these would look good. Let me show you. These would look good with this top. I know I said I'd wear it with white, but I might wear it with this another day. And then wear that the trousers up for in the day. So what else have I got? You know, I thought I had another pair of trousers. I've probably got another pair of trousers upstairs, just floral ones. I don't know what I've done with everything. <laughs> Not a very good packer. And then... 
got these two tops. I'm flying all this again. I think the way I'm going. This is what. Oh, that's one. An old next one that I've had for a while. I like it because it's got like a structured pad at shoulder. You know, it looks quite smart, apart from the fat arms. And then I do like this. I've had this years. It's an old Marks and Spencers one, but do you know I've worn it so much. It's so handy on holiday. You know, it's like an off the shoulder one. I do like that. And then what have I got here? Oh, two more things. I've got that top that I got from Marks and Spencers, which I've not worn yet. And then this is an old one that I've had for years, but I always like it. And I have packed quite a few like everyday t-shirts, um, but I put them in the packing cube and I can't possibly get them all out. Um, I'm sure there was something else. I oh, I know, it's on the other side of this door. Just let me put these back. Or I'll have even, I don't know why you bother ironing really, because when you get there, you've got to do it all again, haven't you? You know, these feel really heavy. I don't think I'm going to be able to get these in for the weight. Oh, and I have packed three pairs of shorts and two swimsuits and a tankini. I'm not really a tankini type of person, um, but I've packed one anyway. I like to be covered up. And then I've got one more long dress. This is one I've had a couple of years. It's, um, where did I get it? Oh, I think that's the next one. And I think I paid full price for this, which is unusual for next. I like to get them the bargain ones in the clearance section, but then they, it was in the clearance section before. Well, I had worn it once, um, very cheap. So I've just had this shortened because it was a little bit too long. I was frightened of tripping up over it. So that's quite good. I think you can wear it. Well, I think you might be able to wear it off the shoulder. I never have done. So I think that is most of my holiday outfit. Now, the thing that is most important on holiday is footwear. Oh, let me just get... I don't know why I'm hanging them all up because I'll just have to fold them before long. Right, now just let me tell you about my footwear. I need, oops, see if we can come down again. I might slip away. <laughs> I really need comfy footwear. I can't, I can't, you know, it's hot and it's, so what I've packed is I've packed, well I haven't packed them yet, but I'm going to, I'll have to clean them first. A pair of white trainers, um, do you know, I think this is just moving. A pair of white trainers, um, my old sketches, which I'm going to wear, I need comfy shoes, um, and a couple of pair of sandals, and then I've got, oh, just let me get them and I'll show you them. I got these um, last year and they're very much like Skechers and I got those from Primark and do you know I've had them in the washing machine loads of times because Skechers you can put in and do you know they, they just they come out brilliant I've just had them in the washing machine now and I think they were either nine or ten pounds well Skechers are like 40 pound aren't they they're really good. I had a look in Primark to see if I had any this year, but I couldn't see any. But I'd definitely get some more if I saw them, you know. The trouble is, the pavements in Vegas are that, they're that dusty that these will be black in no time. So I might just wear those in the hotel. Anyway, I think that's about it. I can't think of anything else I've got to tell you. Um, what I'm going to, we fly in from Manchester hopefully, British Airways, and then we're getting the, um, 
the Virgin flight, I think it's about half three in the afternoon, the Virgin flight from Heathrow to uh, Vegas. Oh, I'm dreading the flight. It's going to be so long. And of course, we're in economy. We can't afford anything else. So I have managed to get an aisle seat and I think my friend's got an aisle seat. So we're going to sit across from one another. Um, I mean, on some of the planes, there's only two seats, so that's not so bad, you know, because you can sit in them and swap about. But uh, it's a three-seater, and it's always difficult, isn't it, when there's two of you? Because um, either one of you is in the middle. Well, one of you will be in the middle, won't they? So, and, you know, we're a bit old for that, you know. We have to go to the loo a lot at our age. So anyway, anyway, I'll try and do a vlog at the airport. I'll try and do a bit at the airport and on the plane. You can see what um, the Virgin... I have a feeling it might be one of those, what do they call them, Dreamliners? I hope so. We have been on one once before, a British Airways one, just one journey, and it was nice. But then there wasn't many people on the plane which made it better. Um, I think this looks pretty full. Anyway, I'll, I'll try and do some vlogs on holiday, uh, but I will put things on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, take a look and consider following me on Instagram. I will put some pictures on Instagram more than anything probably because it'll probably be easier because I don't know how I'll go on for internet and things like that. I must remember to turn the roaming off my phone because it'll cost a fortune otherwise. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow we've got to do this um, video, oh this video COVID test online with somebody watching us. So that's going to be fun. I think about 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, then I'm just going to have my hair blow dried in the afternoon because usually when uh, it blows dries it, it lasts a couple of days. So so anyway, I'm going to go now. And this is my definitely my last vlog before my holiday. Hopefully see you in Vegas.